Okay, you guys, okay, let's get right to it. I am so, so excited for today's video because yesterday I received my Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson collab palettes from Beautylish and I have not unboxed anything yet. And I am dying to dig into this that like, I can't even think straight. I've done this intro several times because like, I can't think straight. I'm so excited. I have these palettes sitting here and they're just like, open me, unbox me, let's see. But I wanted to wait to do them on camera for you guys so you guys can see my initial reactions and my thoughts and opinions too because I feel like this whole launch was obviously very different than Jeffree Star's other previous launches because we had Shane Dawson's docu-series and everything like that going on. So we kind of got to see like behind the scenes and everything of their creation, which was really cool. But I feel like I didn't get a chance to like form like a valid, solid, strong opinion on the color story and where I can take it creatively and everything like that because I didn't see like the whole swatches and everything. I've seen a couple swatches floating around, but I really try to stay away from other people's reviews, other people's looks and everything like that. So I have a completely clear and unbiased like mind when it comes to this palette, its pigmentation, its blendability, its whole color story and with the creative looks that you can do. So I ordered both the Conspiracy palette and the Mini Controversy palette. So we're gonna be doing one palette on one side and one palette on the other so we can give itself a chance to like see everything today in a first impressions video. And then if everything goes really well with the palettes then I'll be doing dedicated videos doing like the whole three looks one palette thing. If you know me and you are a subscriber and everything, you know how I like to do it, especially with these collab launches and stuff. If you aren't a subscriber, by the way, now is a good time to say it. I'm Ashley, by the way, with AHM Artistry. In case you do not know who this lady is, who's yelling at you and is just so excited about makeup, that's me over here. Ashley, what's up? How you doing? I would love it if you would consider at any point in time going down and clicking that little red subscribe button that we get notified when I post new videos, which is about three times a week. And I would love to have you a part of my little fan band that we have over here. P.S. I hope that you like my backdrop and you, uh, you know, you're getting inspired and stuff. I try to do a little conspiracy theme, make it fun, make it different, make it interesting, you know? But uh, anyways, enough jibber jabbing, enough about all of that. If you wanna see me unbox this whole box that is just sitting in the corner and yelling at me, as well as do some swatches and some eye looks, then you're in the right place. So all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. All right. I'm gonna finally unbox it. I'm so excited. I will talk about my experience with ordering through Beautylish in a minute, but first I need to unbox this before I lose my freaking mind. I usually order through Beautylish and their packaging is very bubble wrapped and lots of tissue and everything fun like that. And they usually throw in a sample. So I don't know what that is, but I will look at it later. And I also, side note, ordered another Magic Star concealer. This is like my favorite concealer now. I love it so much and I have been waiting to reorder this because I was trying to use up my other concealers, but I was like, let me just throw it in the cart because I love it so much and I've missed it in my life. Here is my bubble wrap it and let me open it up. Ooh. You guys, when I was watching the docu-series, I lost my mind when I saw Shane Dawson's like and Andrew's like comp like the one that they made and they sent to them saying like, maybe we want something like this. I was like, yes, yes triple yes because I was the same way when they were first making it I was like mm, no I'm not really jiving with the outside and then when they made this I was like oh man I'm definitely gonna need it so okay I have to open controversy first I have to I have to so this is the outer carton outer sleeve slides out it feels sturdy like the blood sugars outer carton not like the blue blood that one doesn't feel very sturdy so oh oh I'm just looking at it in the mirrors oh Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is like a whole texture sensation, you guys. That is a metal like medallion on the center. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. Okay. Gorgeous. Obviously, I love these style palettes that he does. I, I have the Blue Blood and the Blood Sugar, and I just love, love the palettes. I love how the clasps are so beautiful. Oh man, and it has the matte and the shine that give that spiral effect. They killed it on this palette, at least the outer packaging. Oh. Let's see if the inside, because it's what's on the inside that counts, is just as amazing and beautiful. I can't get over how that's like an actual piece of metal. Wow, that's really cool. And it has a little tiny Jeffree Star star on there. So cute, very well thought out. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, wow. 
don't know what it is, but through the series and like the final everything, I was like, I don't know. I think because of the camera and like the film, I don't know, it just didn't, it, I was interested in it and I knew I needed to see it in person because everything wasn't trans, the shadows to me weren't translating how gorgeous they really are. Cause I'm like, they're freaking out. They have to be really good. Jeffree Star always comes out with really gorgeous eyeshadows. So I need to order it and see for myself. And you guys, I don't even know. I feel like my camera, my, let me turn down my lighting a little bit because it is so, so pretty. It is so gorgeous. I don't know if it's translating on camera. It wasn't translating on camera for me. And I tried to stay away from everybody's reviews, like I said. This is gorgeous. I totally feel inspired by this palette. The reason why I was so nervous, honestly, is because there's so many neutral shades and I'm just not like that neutrally of a gal. And with Jeffree Star palettes, I'm usually expecting like something different and unique. But looking at this in person, you guys, this is different and unique. You do have these shades up here, but they're very cohesive. They look like they're gonna blend all together beautifully. You can go with a neutral look if that's more your style, or you can pop in some color, or you can do full color. I just feel so inspired looking at it. If you're on the fence about this palette, I mean, stay tuned for swatches and looks and stuff, but maybe see it in person if you have like a Morphe store or something by you, because wow, I... I'm blown away, honestly. It is so gorgeous. And each pressed shade with the little special emblems in there is just beautiful. Okay, gorgeous, love it, cool, excited. Let me go ahead and open up the mini controversy. Ooh, I loved, love, 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 and I know a lot of you guys do too, the mini Jawbreaker palette. So I have a lot of high hopes for this. And the outer sleeve, it feels, what is that word? Like almost has like a plasticky feel, but not because of the texture with the uh, static on there. That's really cool. Okay, now let's slide her out. Boop. All right. Oh, very cool. Ooh, it looks so cool with my background over here. Yeah, it has like this holographic shift in there. Oh, you could totally tell. That is really, really neat. Really pretty to look at. And again, let's see the inside. Oh, that's really cute. Very pretty. Yeah, that's a very pretty palette that you could probably travel with if you like to travel with some blue shades because the neutrals in here are really good. Me, with my first impression thoughts and opinions, if I were to choose between one based off of first impressions, this one. This one really, really screams to me. This one's really pretty and I like it, but it's not 100% like yelling at me, you know? Like the mini Jawbreaker felt like that was just like, that was something that really excited me. But if you love these colors, you love that vibe, I mean, I might totally change my mind and be obsessed with it when I try it on. It's hard once seeing this and opening up this, and this is so unique that this one to me almost isn't as unique of a palette. Does that kind of make sense? You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm only seeing one shade that is a repeat and that's Diet Root Beer right in the center over here. And that one, I'm not seeing any other repeats, which the Jawbreaker Mini had two repeats in there and they kind of like stand apart on their own. I'm sure you can like, you know, be cohesive and connect the two together and mix and match, but this seems like a standalone palette and this seems like a standalone palette. Like the color stories, even though there's some similarities with the neutrals, I think, okay, honestly, I think what it is, I'm a little scared of the blues. Not because I don't like blue eyeshadows and blue looks. I love them, I think they're gorgeous, but if you aren't familiar with my channel and familiar with my videos, I had some issues with blue blood. So I think I have like some nerves going into those ones, but we'll see, we'll see how everything goes. All right, let me go ahead and throw up some arm swatches for you guys to see everything laid out and we can see how the pigmentation is at least based on swatches. So first here are the conspiracy swatches. Now you guys, these swatch so buttery and so nice. There was only one shade that was like a little bit odd when I swatched it and that was the Trisha shade, that pink one. That one kind of feels like that odd texture that was in some of the shades in the blue blood palette. So I'm a little nervous for that one, but we'll see how it actually plays out. I kind of had to like rub the swatch to get it to not have that gritty texture, but everything else is really pretty and so, so soft, like almost softer than any other palette that he's ever pressed before. So know that you might lose some of the like pressed emblems in there as you go a little bit faster than some of the other ones. Just my thoughts, just my theory. What's really cool about this palette is each row really stands apart for themselves. So you have the whole neutral row right there. And of course they can be incorporated through all of the different rows. And then the second row, gorgeous. It's a whole row on its own. And the third row, of course, beautiful 
beautiful Hello Christmas vibes on the bottom corner. Wow. I don't know how they made each row look so unique and different, yet when you look at the palette itself, it all looks cohesive and amazing. And I'm just like, I'm so blown away, especially swatching it now. It's like, wow, 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 wow. Now moving on to the mini controversy, I didn't feel like these ones were quite as cooperative as the Conspiracy palette. The pastel shades in the palette gave me a little bit of difficulty, which usually his pastel shades tend to do that for me. So I won't really know until I go in and try to play with it if it's gonna be a problem or not. So hopefully they'll be okay. And then the purple shade controversy, that one had some difficulty swatching. I had to layer up that swatch a few times to get it to really show up and make sense and blend out and be more opaque instead of patchy. So we'll see how that goes when we play with it. And then the blue shades really surprised me. The blue shades are really, really nice. And it feels like the formula of the shades in the blue blood palette that work really well. So we'll see how everything goes when we actually try everything on my eyes in just a minute. I would love it if you would let me know down in the comments below, which palette are you jiving with? Are you more into the big conspiracy palette? Are you more into the mini controversy palette? What's your style? What's your vibe? but what do you like? What do you dislike? Let's get a chat started because I love makeup so much and I love chatting with you guys about all of this because I know each of us have different preferences and what we look for. All right, we're gonna jump into the eye look in just a minute, but really quickly, I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience with ordering through Beautylish because you guys, I seriously recommend it. Every Jeffree Star launch for the last two or three launches, I've ordered through Beautylish and I haven't had any problems and it's such fast shipping. So number one reason to order through them is if you're within the US, it's two day shipping shipping for orders over $35, which you can't beat that. I think Jeffree Star's website, it might be a hundred dollar minimum. And then it's fast too. So like I said, at the beginning of the video, I ordered this on Friday, the day it launched and I got it on Wednesday. Most launches I actually get on Tuesday, but I think this launch was so wild and so crazy and so massive that I got it a day later. Who cares? No big deal. It's totally fine. So I love that. And also, you guys, it was a breeze. I didn't have any issues. Let me know down in the comments below also, like where were you on the day of the Jeffree Star Shane Dawson launch? How was your experience? How did everything go? Was it easy? Was it a breeze? Did you have such a headache? What was the problems? Where did you try to order from? And everything like that, because I was on Beautylish at the time of launch and within two minutes I had my confirmation and everything like that, or the order was placed and accepted. So I didn't really have any issues on Beautylish. The only thing was like, I did get one error page, but I just let it wait for a second and then it loaded, it reloaded and it confirmed my order. So I didn't have any issues, but I do have a couple tips. Make sure you are logged into your account and all your information is already inputted, including your credit card. And that goes with any website because when the blood sugar palette launched, I actually made the mistake of not being logged in and not having my information already done. And I missed out on that palette because by the time I entered all my information, the palette sold out. So I learned from my mistake in that one and anywhere that I order, if it's a big launch, I always have everything ready to go. That way I don't run into any of the, oh, sorry, it's already gone because we sold it to somebody else because you took two, you took 30 seconds to enter your information. I know, super annoying, but that is a tip that I have for you guys when ordering a launch of any kind, have everything ready with your account already set up and that kind of helps the checkout process a little bit better. I cannot recommend it enough at this point in time. It's been wonderful. So Beautylish, Beautylish, way to go. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, all right, let's finally slather my eyes in this eyeshadow because I've done talking about it. Now I wanna see how it goes. So I did notice that neither of these palettes actually have like a good base shade for my skin tone, except maybe Ranch if I wanted to do some shimmer. I might throw it on there like underneath the brow later, but that's not the vibe I wanna go with right at this moment. So I already prepped my eyes using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. And then I went in with my Jawbreaker palette and used the shade Virgin to just put right underneath the brow area. That's the only place that I set my primer and I wanna get like a little lifted brow look. I don't set the rest of my eyes because I want the shadows to be able to stick really good to the actual primer. Now on this side, I'll be using the mini controversy. And on this side, I will use conspiracy. And we're gonna be going in with both at the same time. I have some brush cleaning spray so I can clean off my brushes in between if need be. So first up, let me go in with mini controversy. I'm gonna go in with exposed, this pastel-y kind of like a pinky lavender shade. And I'm going to buff it into the lid and crease. Okay, already, already that's a better pastel than I've experienced in the past with some of his pastel shades. So I'm even more optimistic now. 
and I'm just gonna buff it all onto there and kind of like blend it out and blow it out, kind of give it like a blown out look. I'm going to keep the style of both eyes the same, but just change up the pigments so it kind of looks cool together. And if you wanna rock a two-tone one palette, hopefully, hopefully this will work out and that'll be nice, nice inspo. That's a really pretty pastel, yay! Cool. Now on this side, I'm gonna go in with what's the tea. I just, I wanna find out what the tea is with these pastel shades, if they're, if they're good, you know? Okay, instantly, instantly better pigment. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, cool. Now on this side, I'm going with the simulation, that deeper blue shimmery shade. I am noticing I'm getting a little bit of fallout, so it's great that I already did my face makeup. I had hopes for that, but this is, I should note already that this is a very like kickback type of palette. They are so, so softly pressed that it's to be expected. It's very like buttery, but powdery. So if kickback bugs you, fallout bugs you, just keep that in mind. I am experiencing those. I usually don't care as long as it performs really well. I know now to not do my face makeup first. So <laughs> yeah. It's a whole learning process with first impressions. It is, it is. Okay, now I'm just blending out with my bigger blending brush, just the edges. And I have to say, no complaints about this blue shade so far. Pigmented, blendable, buildable, really, really pretty. Nicely done, nicely done. Now on this side, I'm gonna go in with not a fact because I can't help myself when it comes to maroons. Wow, wow, so, so pretty. And I'm gonna do the exact same technique, buffing in with my Sigma E25 brush. This is like a flat blending brush and it helps me get into like the crease a little bit better. Ooh, those colors together gives me all the feels. Ooh, yay. This looks nice and crazy so far. Nice and crazy. Now I'm gonna take the shades and just make sure they're extended to the line. I'm kind of just creating as I go. So I could have done this earlier, but I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna be popping another shade like right over here. So I'll leave that space open. I'm actually gonna take, while we're doing this, I'm gonna take these pastel shades and bring them down like just a smidge bit onto the bottom. Not fully out, but just a little bit. That kind of gives that, or it'll help to give that blown up look. Oh, more fallout, ah! Now on this side, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do Illuminati or Trisha because I kind of want to see what Trisha is like. Let me just do this. That would be cool. That would almost be more cohesive to that side. Maroon and then green. Yeah, I think that would be more balanced. I'm like, I'm like trying to make this make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. But I don't know if I'm reaching. So I'll take Illuminati, that green shade. And I know everybody's saying it on Twitter at least, and I'm gonna say it. Jeffrey and or Shane, make that green color. Make that green shadow in something because we all wanted it, okay? We all did. I'm gonna pop this right into this area and kind of smudge it out on the sides to make it blend. And I might change it later. We'll see. It's just kind of fading with this look. Like it's not popping like I want it to pop. Hmm. All right, I'm taking a makeup wipe and I'm just removing that really quickly. It was fine. I just wanted, I wanted something a little different in my head. Okay, let me just blend this on top real quickly. I could do the neon, I could do food videos, but I know probably everybody's using that shade. <laughs> but like, how could you not? I'm gonna try Trisha now, give it a fair chance. Oh my gosh. No, this is the problem that I had with that blue blood shade that was like that. It like swatched so nice and then it's like not going on to my lid with that brush. What's happening? Okay, okay, I'm lots of fallout. Oh, I have to use my nails, but I got claws, so let's hope for the best. That's a little better. We'll just have to clean up the other lines. That's the pop that I was looking for though. Okay, you have to layer it a little bit, but the finger is working. I don't know why they make it that texture. It's so odd. There was a couple shades in the Blue Blood palette that were like this scratchy, almost like irony type of feel. I don't know. I know that sounds like a weird description, but that's like how it feels. Like when you're a kid and you're digging with magnets in the dirt to try to find iron, that's like how it feels. 
Okay, so I will blend that out, don't worry. Okay, it's fine, but you know what? I'm gonna take Diet Cola, which is a crazy silver shade. Very smooth, that one is totally different, and I'm gonna try to pop it over that. Ooh, see, that's buttery, that's nice. Okay, enough about that. That at least looks nice now. It's not exactly what I was envisioning, and it's like an offset spotlight eye now, but it's it's working now. All right, you know what? I'm gonna try Controversy right here, and if it doesn't go well, we'll pop a shimmer over it on top, just like we did on this side. Uh, and I, cause this is the one that I'm the most concerned about. So let's see how this one performs. Oh, see, that one's good so far, so far, so far. Okay, you know what? That one's looking really cool. That one is not having a problem. So yay, the swatches didn't tell the whole story in that one. Let me just blend out a little bit. Yeah, that looks like a cool like rainbow blend. Okay, but because I just feel like making this cohesive, I know we're just getting to look, know these palettes, not necessarily doing a tutorial. I want to put a shimmer on top of this side too. Obviously, if I was doing like this as a real look, I would do the silver shimmer to keep it cohesive, but I don't want to do that. I want to do my boyfriend's purse. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my gosh, it's so dusty. <sighs> oh, that one is not anything. That one is not shimmery enough or anything. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's happening? Look at all the fallout I have too. Oh my gosh, it looks like I have major bags under my eyes, but it's just the fallout. Wow, okay, I'm gonna, never mind. I'm gonna go against, um, go against everything that I've said and I'm gonna dip into Diet Cola and I'm gonna cover that up because it's gonna bug me for the rest of the video if it's sitting there all crazy. Okay, that's better. Why is that shade so nothing? Weird. Okay, you know what's cool about putting that Diet Cola shade on both sides? is this side it's more maroony silver and this side it's more purple silver now because those are underneath so that's kind of neat that's kind of fun okay silver lining seeing the silver lining seeing the positive and things but wow wow look at my look at all of this fallout wowie gee wow look willikers i should have known his palettes either have a lot of fallout or they have none there's no in between do i want to do the lower lash line Sure, let's try. Let's try one more shade each. Why not? That's what we're here for. I'm gonna take on the mini controversy side. I wanna see how my apology is. Let's do my apology. Ooh, I'm getting mermaid vibes now. Whoa, whoa, that blended out really far. It doesn't stay quite as metallic -y when I use my brush. If I pressed it on, no, this is kind of a weird shade too, kind of like Boyfriend's Purse, where it looks like shimmery, but then it's not really when you blend it out. How interesting. Like, it looks matte on my eye. That's weird. Okay, let me do the other side. What do I want to do on the bottom over here? Should I just see? Should I see how flaming hot it is? Or cheese dust? Which one should I do? Which one? I wish I was live and you guys could tell me which one should I test out first. Flaming Hot or Cheese Dust. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Flaming Hot. Ooh. 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 I'll do Flaming Hot. Okay. I like that one. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so this is what we're working with. Do I want to try to salvage this eye look for the sake of that? Do I want to try one more shade? Sure. Let's try Ranch, which is the bright shimmer shade in the Conspiracy palette. And let's just slap it all over to give it just like this crazy shimmery euphoric vibe that's not a shimmery either wait what that it's not as shimmery as i thought okay it has a little bit what's happening right with finger that just pops a little more now but it's not as crazy shimmery as I was expecting. Interesting, very interesting formula, for sure. Does it just kind of look like a dusty white shade? Let me take off this fallout. Let me see if I can clean anything up. 
Maybe I should throw on some liner and stuff and see how it looks all together. Cause sometimes things just look crazy until you, until you finish. Okay you guys, I managed to salvage this look and actually make it look purposeful. Yay, I'm so excited. But I know that's like not the point of this video necessarily. It's more like to get a feel for the palette, feel for the vibe, the difficulty, the pigmentation and all of that. So let's talk really briefly about it. Obviously I had an easier time using the Conspiracy palette, at least the shades that I picked today. I know it's like a massive palette and I happen to make two eye looks that are very similar, but opposites. But each palette you would have to have, like there's no blue that's in this palette that looks like that. This one's like a pastel-y. So um, not counting like the eye look overall, the blendability and the pigmentation was amazing on this one. The only shade that was a little bit weird was Trisha but I'll have to use that in the future, maybe on my own, maybe in a future video and see if maybe it was because I already had shadows laid down and not like fresh primer or something, maybe I can make it work. Like I said, I'm a little bit worried about the formula of it because it's similar to the ones that I had difficulty with in the blue blood that were supposed to be shimmery, but we'll see. Um, and then of course this one right here, it looks pretty, you know, it's blown out and I took it down into the inner corner, but it's just not banging. But if you want a more softer, subtle kind of glow, then you'll get it with that. If I mean, I have a million palettes with a poppin' highlight shimmer shade, so that's fine. I don't necessarily need one. I was just surprised, so I think it's worth noting. Everything else though, blended beautifully. The mini controversy side, obviously, like I said, I had a little bit more difficulty with. However, everything did blend nice, except for, except when I went to try to go in with my boyfriend's purse. That was a weird shade. So I'll have to experiment with that and see what its purpose is, see if it shows up on me. It might look better on other skin tones. For me though, I don't, I don't get it. And I think apology, my apology, is interesting because it looks like it's gonna be metallic, but I mean, it blended out matte, so I don't know. Um, very different, very interesting. I think I overall am still vibing with the Conspiracy palette more than the Mini Controversy, but like I said, that's just my preference and my opinion so far. I think the only couple things to note is the fallout. So like I said, definitely, definitely do your face makeup afterwards if you're using either of these palettes because both of them are so lightly pressed into the palette that they give that fallout. They it does make them more buttery and soft, but it's kind of like, you know, it's like a catch 22. And a couple details really quickly, if you want to know how like it kind of came together, I did go in and fine tune things a little bit. And then I went and carved out this line and I went and redid my concealer and stuff. And that made the look make it a little bit more purposeful instead of just crazy. And then I went in with a pink eyeliner. I used the LA Girl. This is technically a lip liner. It's not necessarily, necessarily supposed to be by your eyes, but you know, use at your own risk. This is in the shade Pop and I popped them in on both sides and that kind of brought the look together too. And then these are the House of Lashes in the style Natal Natalia, Natalia. I always mix them up and then I want to see Natalia, but it's Natalia. And I think that kind of pulled everything together. And of course, you know, some black liner and stuff. I think that pretty much wraps up the whole first impressions and everything like that. Let me know down in the comments below if you picked up either of these palettes, are you having some of the same issues that I'm having with those specific shades that I had issues with? Or is it all beautiful and blendable and pigmented like the ones that I had the good experiences with? Cause I'm really curious to find out your guys' opinions, your guys' experiences and everything like that. So I will be diving deep down into these palettes even more to get to know them and to do some more looks for you guys. So I probably will be doing a three looks, one palette in about a week or so. First, I'll do the Conspiracy palette and then the Mini Controversy palette. So if you guys wanna see that and you aren't a subscriber of mine yet, you're not subscribed to get notifications when I upload, make sure to tap that little red button down there to subscribe to this channel. That way, allegedly you will get notified when I post those videos as well as all the other videos I post because I post about three times a week. Thank you guys so much for stopping in and checking out what I have to say and my first impressions, thoughts, and opinions are on this whole Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collab palette situation. I appreciate your guys' time so much that you take out of the day to spend time with me, hang out, play with some makeup, have a good time, and I really hope that every single one of you out there, every single one of you, have a great, freaking, awesome, wonderful, beautiful day of the Jeffree Star X Shane Dawson, 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 at Shane Dawson. I ordered both the, con I ordered, that sounds so weird, ordered, ordered, ordered. Why do I keep saying ordered? I ordered, I ordered, I ordered, I ordered, oh my God.
It sounds so weird. Okay, I ordered. <gasps> okay, I am finally opening up the order that I got from Beautylish, which contains my excitement, apparently. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't get this. See it with your own live eyes. Then, then you get the real vibe. Yeah, because I really want to see how the behaving. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, are you okay? Ooh. Cause I am opening up, opening. I'm opening it. I can't do this. Okay, I can't. I can't. I can't. I literally can't even. <laughs> Keep on what? <laughs> Whoops. So let's just, you know. <sighs> Collab, something, something, something. <laughs> but, anyways, <sighs> we, 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 you know, we, we had some, we had, we had some, some, some times together. Full day. 